What is going on YouTube? Patrick here. Time for some live thrifting. I know last week we did top 10 of last year. Uh, just haven't been finding a lot, so uh, tried to collect as much footage this week as I could. Uh, come along with us, see what we discovered. Some interesting stuff to look at. Uh, didn't find a ton that I thought was really worth flipping. Uh, but like I said, a couple interesting things to take a look at. First stop here, we're gonna head to the back and go to the electronics. Um, these shelves back here, you guys, have been bare for a couple of weeks. Um, normally during the summer, I pick up those Wii wheels right there from Mario Kart. They wanted $4.99 each though. Just That's just not gonna do it. Uh, you also saw the DJ Hero controller there. I don't think I've ever actually bought one of those. They've never really been worth it. I did find this router here, which I did put in the cart and take a look at. It definitely was not worth picking up though. Uh, I had recently sold one that I got for free, which I was like, that was pretty interesting. Uh, I thought maybe I could find another one, but it wasn't to be. This, uh, I don't remember if it was a fish tank thing. I think that's what it was there is a hood for a fish tank. Also not worth it. I did end up putting both of those back. Uh, that's, that's my goal though, is like walk through the store, put things in the cart, take a look at them. You know, sometimes you just know that it's gonna be worth money. Sometimes you don't. So you, you just gotta just like take a little bit of caution I've definitely bought my fair share of garbage over the years, <laughs> but what are you gonna do? I've actually had a lot of success with Sony phones like that. It's an older cordless phone. This one though, just really wasn't really a lot of value. I think it was worth about 10 to $15. And you know, on the older phones, a lot of the times those, uh, the batteries can be bad and you have to replace them. So then that's really not a really good risk there. Uh, you guys can see, right? These shelves are pretty bare. All of a sudden though, what's this? There was this really nice Sony VCR sitting here. Um, and so I was like, well, I'm definitely interested in picking this up. Uh, this was in the evening. There wasn't a lot of people in here. So what did I do? I plugged it in and it had a tape inside and it did not want to give it back. So back on the shelf it went. I walk by these shoes every week and I wonder if people wonder why I don't stop. That's why, right? Those were, 20, I think $26 for that one pair. I've seen a few other people like Harry Tornado is always like his are like seven dollars for any pair of shoes. Uh, yeah, Connecticut not so much. Uh, usually much much more than that. Uh, I think twenty six dollars may actually have been a good price for them, but only if you want to buy and own them, not if you want to buy them and resell them. So headed over here next to the toys, uh, you can see there's a there's a what is it? Incredible girl, I think was her name, or I can't remember if it was Mrs. Incredible from Infinity. I do try to collect those when I can find them and then put a full set of the Incredibles together. Uh, that says actually pretty well. Uh, I think Violet is the rare one in there and I couldn't remember at this point which one it was. Uh, but yeah, I think they wanted, I think $4.99 or $5.99 for the bag. Just really wasn't worth it just for the one figure in there. Uh, so I didn't really feel like taking the risk that night. Sometimes I'll just pick up the whole bag, right? Because I've been pleasantly surprised by some of the toys and what their prices are. Oh, this was a fun one to see. It's got the orange lightsaber in there. This was the first wave, I think, of the re-released Star Wars figures when, when Kenner um, started doing them back in the 90s. I want to say like mid-90s, like 93, 94, 95, something like that. And I was a big collector of those actually back in the day. I've still got a few of them, but I just was like, I didn't really have a lot of room to display them. So I ended up selling off most of my collection. But it was neat to see it. Uh, I, I was there when they first were released with some of my friends. We were big into collecting them. And uh, yeah, it was really fun. I went, I think, all the way through episode one. And I had the full set of every figure that had been released up to that point. Uh, and they didn't really hold their value as much as the ones from the 1980s did. So what are you going to do? I, I had fun collecting them at that point. I was taking a look at this Buzz Lightyear. The one that has the, the wings that rotate instead of slide out, I believe is the one that has a little bit more value. And especially if he's got the dome that will like flip up over his head. I've sold those a couple of times. Uh, this one though was a little bit of a different model so I didn't even really take a lot of time with it. Um, I'll come back to that mummy guy that I just pulled out but I was trying to get to a Spider-Man that I saw in there that looked pretty interesting and uh, he was a little bit hard to get to. I did put him in my cart. Um, I couldn't find any comps right before I recorded this, but he wasn't really worth a lot. Maybe like $10 free shipping on a good day. So definitely put him back. Uh, definitely was looking at all the different stuff here. And the mummy guy, finally I was like, 
you know what, I got to take a look at this guy and see what he is, what he does. And uh, surprisingly, he was the one that had a little bit of value, which is, a, like I said, it's surprising just because most of the time with Imagine X, it's the little figures that have value. And anything bigger, I've noticed, doesn't have a ton. Uh, some of the Marvel stuff can do really well, but I didn't think this mummy was going to have any value. And you can see there it was about $15 plus shipping. So for $2.99, really not a bad value at all. I was playing with that coffee maker there. I thought it was really funny looking because it had that little toaster oven on the side of it. Just kind of a funny little device. I didn't even bother to look it up. I didn't really think even if it had value, it was something I really wanted to be dealing with. Uh, but I thought it was funny, so I checked it out. The uh, The kitchen items also lately have been, been pretty bare. I did take a look at a few of the different things here, some of the pasta makers. I took a look at some of the... Uh, uh, what do you call them? The, the grinders? No, no, the Cuisinarts. There we go. So stuff like that. What's this? It's a carrying case for brownies. It's interesting. Is it new or is it resealed? It's resealed. Okay. Is there a model on there at all? Yeah. Wilson present. Well, one sold for 15 and one sold for 20. How often? Like I said, there's two sold. <laughs> that is it. So yeah, definitely gonna try and intersperse some of uh, me and Amber talking whenever I can. Uh, she was looking for some clothes for herself during most of this visit though. So it was just me. I listened to a lot of it. Uh, it ended up being me singing along to the music quite a bit, which I didn't figure you guys would want to listen to. Uh, or just me like humming to myself, or if I was talking to myself, I thought maybe it would be interesting, but I couldn't, I wasn't speaking loud enough to hear because most of the time I know I'm going to do these voiceovers instead. So sometimes I'll, t I'll say something that's like a note to myself to talk about, but otherwise just not really worth it. Um, so now looking here at the, the electronics, not really finding anything. There was a couple of interesting things to look at, but uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've actually found anything in the electronics section here. Occasionally I find a good calculator or a GPS unit or a nice digital camera. Uh, was not to be this day though. Uh, you can see a lot of the pegs are pretty bare. Uh, that's just, that's this time of year, right? Like people aren't gonna really start donating stuff again until it gets a little bit warmer outside, but hey, you never really know what's gonna show up. You see anything interesting? No. Mm -hmm. Slim pickles, though. Yeah. You ready? Ready. Okay. So that was it for the first savers. Here we are at another one. This was a couple days later in the week. Uh, I think it's actually a different savers completely. Uh, of course, headed back to the electronics first. They, they both have them in the back of the store. This one usually has, I don't know, a best way to describe it, but it's usually like much less. Uh, so yeah, did not really ever expecting to find anything here. And when I do, I'm always really shocked. Uh, you saw that calculator there, graphing calculator. I think it was a TI-73. They're worth like $10. Uh, so if you can get it for a dollar, maybe not a bad flip, but definitely not want to pay thrift store prices for something like that. I was also kind of confused by, um, there was a GPS unit with a really long arm on it. And then these things were sitting over there. It's a weird poker game that plugs into your TV. Uh, I'm always interested in the plug and play type stuff. And then these Disney Infinity Portals, I always check it for the model. You're gonna be looking for that, I put it up on the screen, INF-8037059. That's gonna be the one that has the value. It's gonna be like maybe $20 plus shipping. Maybe you can get it $25 free shipping, something like that. Uh, and I normally can pop those into like an Amazon bubble mailer and they'll ship really nicely for first class. So I headed around the corner here to look at the kitchen devices. And um, yeah, very similar to the other savers, just not a lot that I'm like, wow, I really wanna check that out. I'm seeing a lot of those rotisserie ovens. They are everywhere lately. And I used to just pick those up whenever I saw them, especially like some of the, the newer models. They were used to be super valuable, but they have just lost their value, which of course stinks, but what are you gonna do? What are these guys? <laughs> so it's a humidifier. 
<laughs> Those are cool earrings. I think it is, yeah. Yep. BE3191. You guys saw the comps there. Obviously, we put that back. Um, it was kind of a funny thing, and there was two of them, so it's like somebody with that needs two of them, that would be a nice set for them to pick up. Uh, not really a lot of room to uh, to resell for that. Uh, that's okay. What are you going to do? Sometimes you get lucky with that kind of stuff. Headed back to the toy section here, and you can see it's uh, it's hopping. Lots of little kids always playing with this stuff. Um, usually if this if it's not a huge disaster, that is that is really rare. <laughs> right? There's just usually so many kids going back there while their parents are looking around the store, playing with the toys, and just having a good time. It's nice to see, honestly. And they don't usually touch any of the stuff that's actually going to have any value, right? They're, this one's playing with a ball there. What are you going to do? That That's just kind of the, the charm of going to these places, I think. There's, at least the pigs are filled. Yep. <laughs> <coughs> that is a lot of Dalmatians. <laughs> I think I already have a lot of Dalmatians listed. This guy is interesting. <laughs> That's a fun one. a little bit of money for a little pet shop. <laughs> That's a lot for those. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, there's actually stuff on the pegs. I can't believe it. <laughs> yep. Was that Crazy Aaron's? Was there a Crazy Aaron store there? No. I think there was. There was? Yep. What was it? This is a drink cup topper from episode oh, one. I remember those. <clears throat> was Crazy Aaron? Yeah, pretty sure it was. See, Crazy Aaron's. Oh. <laughs> Sensory putty. Cool Yeti, it says. Yeah. This was like Burger King. I wonder if they have any value. What do you think? I would say no. Me too, but... Nope. <laughs> it's one of those where it's like... It's interesting. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> the kids in Sunday school need toys to play with in between and stay with us. They do? Yeah. What should we get them? I don't know what it should be. They always want to play with the toys that are in there, which I think it's fine. But they're not allowed to. We just clean them up when we're done. Yep. But they're not it's allowed to. Like I don't want to do... They don't want to clean? I don't want to clean it. Yeah. Because like I already got enough to do. <laughs> you know, if you could ask... Lots of furniture. I don't know what it is, though. There's a camera case back there, like... Well, what's in there, you know? Where's that a stone? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That is probably in my storage unit somewhere. <laughs> they want fifty dollars for it. There's a book book in here. Oh. Could be. Interesting. This was the first one I one of the first ones I read, I believe. Yeah. By this Arthur. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is that the one I got you? No. No? I have bought that one for people. It's a whole bunch of old Tarzan books. Funny. Two bucks each. Where's the author on it? What you, these are only fifty cents. What's the printing on these? Looks like they might, they're maybe selling for a little over a dollar. Hmm. That's not like a bad deal. It's not a great deal. No. I should have got you this version of this. Yeah. A little bit bigger <laughs> size, which is what you like. 
I used to have this great book of amber, but I don't have it anymore. Oh, look at this. Oh, that might be worth something. The Chronicles of Amber. Yep. Hard covers of those. Oh my goodness. This is part of my favorite series. One of my favorite series. Hmm. <laughs> the Incarnation of Immortality. I bought you the first one of that one. Yeah. Yep. But this is like the whole... Series? Whole series of it. This, this is really interesting. By Roger Zelazny. Nope. <laughs> There's book one and two for ten dollars for shipping. Mm. Well, hey there. Hey. Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> Nothing good on the other side. No. It's kind of just like that tonight. What's funny is there's actually a lot of stuff out. You know? Yep. There's a little bit. Ah! <laughs> that was... It got me a little, but not too bad. It's a gazelle maker, though. I bet it does not have a lot of value. Right. That is very specific, right? What do you think? How much? Five dollars. Yeah? Well, we were wrong about that. Oh, yeah? Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Quiche, apple pies. I know I saw. <laughs> There's another one, another apple back here. There's always a bunch of them, right? Yeah. When there's one, there's there's more. But you don't know which one is the. I've never found one that actually had value, okay. so. But you said one of them is worth something. One of them is supposed to be. This one's the, if you can get the whole like, set of them, then they're good. Yeah. Yeah. That's like the ones we've sold. They're not bad. It's not a bad brand. It's not a great brand either. You know? I yes, sir. Thank heaven for little boys. <laughs> Funny bird. Temptations? Yeah, it sure is. Temptations by Terra. Mm -hmm. They want $11 for it. These are very interesting down here, though. Just because they're so pretty. Yeah, they are very pretty. Is there a... It just says presentable ovenware. These... I'm going to have a hard time with them. Yeah. Because there's not really a way to describe it. Yeah. Because there's nothing. Is it temptation by care? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to hold it for me like this? We'll do a Google image search. Blue tulip, it says. Mm -mm. Not a ton. Looks like you might be able to get $38 for both of them. Yeah. I think they want... $20 for them? Yeah, I want $10.99 for that one. Yep, I'm sure that's about the same. $8.99. Yep, told you it'd be about 20 bucks. They're probably similar for those two. Oh, I'm not gonna forget. It's the only thing we found. <laughs> Should we take another look on this aisle and see if we missed anything? Look at this. I know exactly what that is. Mm -hmm. They only want ten dollars for it. That's crazy. This is coming with us. Okay. What do you think? Sounds good. That was a very good. It's a laminator. Anything that should be in there that's not in there? I don't know. <laughs> Let's take a look. It looks brand new. Is that 
accessories. Pop it open. Let's see what it looks like inside. It's brand new bird. That's craziness. Can we go get a cart? No, we can carry it. But yeah, we're not going to stay here much longer. Track lighting. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, it's a pump. Spectra. Spectra. Yeah, it sure is. A Spectra what? Uh, it says natural. Uh, model S2+. Plus. Is it a Spectra 2? Uh, it says S2+. Plus. Mm, have to look. Mm, don't know. We're going to look it up. So that is going to do it this week, you guys. If you've enjoyed this video, please do smash that like button. And uh, yeah, I'm going to probably have another one of these next week. So if you want to know about it, please do subscribe and uh, hit that bell icon to be notified of any future videos. Uh, once again, my name is Patrick, and thank you very much.